What is up guys, it's Ghostlane here, coming at you with something different today, a Q&A. We're almost at 500 subscribers and I just want to return the favor for you guys by answering a lot of your questions about my personal life and League of Legends as well. I'm really thankful for that guys, I love you guys so much for that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comment section and they might just go in the next Q&A video. If you guys like this one, you know, just let me know so I can keep on making them. If you guys don't, then just leave it in, comment in the comment section, I won't get hurt or anything. Uh, so let's just, let's just go. Uh, Alright, to get it started, how long have you been playing League of Legends? I've been playing League of Legends for about two years now and still going. I love the game. It's just the best game ever. Uh, it's pretty addicting. And, uh, yeah. And I'm pretty good at it. So, I like it. I'm not, I'm not that good. I, like, I'm pretty bad. If you guys see my videos, I'm pretty bad. But, how tall are you? I am six foot three. A lot of people say that I'm pretty tall. Uh, to me, it's... Yeah, I'm pretty tall. <laughs> it's just that. Uh, what's your favorite LOL character? My favorite character in the game would probably be Renekton and Wukong. Uh, I can't, I can't choose a favorite, you know. Renekton's like a super good lane bully, lane bully, lane bully, <laughs> lane bully, and uh, Wukong is just a really good team fighter and really good uh, top laner and stuff like that. I love, like, he's just so fun to kill people with. I, I don't, I, something about him. Uh, which LOL character would you be and why? Probably Kha'Zix, just so I could jump all over the place and hop place to place, and it'd be like a lot of fun. And uh, turning invisible would be a dream, just because, you know, I could pull some amazing pranks being invisible. Uh, and plus, I could just kill my enemies pretty quickly, because you know, if, if they're all by themselves, you know, yeah, they're screwed. Alright, your, what's your favorite food and hated food? I love sushi, uh, the California roll to be more specific. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but it's so worth it. And I hate spinach. I think I think everybody hates spinach. Uh, if you like spinach, then that's great. Uh, the hardest division that you've ever climbed? Probably bronze. Uh, I was in bronze for quite a while, about eight months, and I always got these like new players and players that who like that wouldn't listen. So it, it was pain in the butt to get out of, but I finally did. I was really committed to it. Like I I, <laughs> I played at least one game a day in bronze. And uh, that was a big commitment, but I, I was committed to get out of bronze because all my friends were making fun of me. Hi, hey, bronze, bronze, bronze. <laughs> and I couldn't take it, so I just played Trindamir and I got out of there. <laughs> I would suggest Trindamir for bronze. Trindamir is amazing for bronze. Just split push and you win. The thing that annoys you the most when you're playing LOL? The thing that annoys me the most is when we're like really close to winning a game and we lose it just because one person, one person gets caught out. And that just throws the game completely. Like one person doesn't like one person doesn't listen and they just throw the game for us. Uh, that's like that's that's uh, like that's that's awful. Uh, what's your worst nightmare? Uh, I had a nightmare a couple days ago where I was in bronze and I got really scared. I woke up and I took a shower and then that was really scary. <laughs> uh, have you ever had a threesome? Nope, nope, nope. Not into that stuff. Uh, what do you eat while playing LOL or during breaks? I honestly love having like chips like Doritos or something like that. Uh, something not too greasy or too messy because you know, you're dealing with a keyboard, you don't want to get like dirty or anything. And I try to stay away from Coke when I'm drinking stuff. Just because Coke, you know, it's pretty bad for you and uh, it's just, it just gets me pretty drowsy. So like I'm not really like into the game anymore, I'm just off. Uh, I try to drink water because it's good for you and it tastes good, so that's good. Uh, do you think that you'll hit LCS? Um, I, I th I'm pretty sure I can in like six to six to eight months from now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be like LCS level, but I still have a lot of practice and I still am like I still need to make that commitment. I don't actually want to be like I mean I'm still deciding whether like I would want to be or not want to be just because. You know, I actually went to LCS and I talked to all the pro players and stuff like that. I had a nice conversation with a couple of them. I talked to like Crumbs, Hotshot, all those guys, and they were pretty nice. I liked them. Uh, I talked to them about being like an LCS player, and they said that they had a lot of pressure on them and it was pretty stressful. And uh, to me, I don't really like that. You know, I, I don't like people judging how I play. Uh, a, lot, a lot of you guys do, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Like, I hate when, like, well. Like, judging how I play, like, in a way where I had to play well, you know, I like to troll around, and I love to troll around if you guys see my videos. And I don't feel like doing amazing all the time and having all that stress, ha having, like, practice every single day uh, with, like, getting bossed around by a coach or something like that. 
Uh, I don't think that's my cup of tea, but I'm pretty sure I'll hit challenger soon, and once I do, I'll be LCS ready, but but for now, I'm not really sure that I'm ready for LCS. Who do you think is the best LOL player? I honestly do not think Hotshot is one. Alright, that's, that's, that's out of the way. So for best player, I think it's personally me. You know, I, I'm pretty good. You know, I honestly deserve challenger, but I always get these noob teams like stuff, and they always don't listen. And yeah, but but for real talk, it's actually Bjergsen. Bjergsen's pretty good. Uh, like I watch his stream all the time, and while he's CSing, it's just it's just amazing the way he just last hits. I think that's like gigantic. I like how he last hit, last hits, he doesn't miss one creep at all. All right, and uh, another question: Who do you think is the hottest champ um, champ in league? Uh, I honestly think it's either Katarina, of course, or you might just you might think it's crazy, but Vi Vi is pretty hot. You know, she, something about Vi just turns me on. I like how she like I like how she's so aggressive. You know, that's kind of like you know my type of girl. Uh, it's not I don't know. I just like the way that Riot made her to be <clears throat> man. What is up? And uh, her catchphrases are pretty hot too. Like one of them is like all like Hey, welcome to the party. You should try the punch, you know, that's something about, something about that. Alright, now the question is, is Riven balanced? Now, <laughs> no, she's completely broken and I think Riot should take her out of the game ASAP. But, yeah, because whenever I gank a Riven, you know, me and my laner just get 1v2'd and then she becomes legendary by 6 minutes and then that's the end of that. Now, But if we're talking real talk, you know, she's, she's better than most top laners and stuff like that. But not the best. Like I really can easily easily wreck her. Um, CC any CC can just destroy her. You know, if you don't want to deal with a Riven, if you just want to like pretend like she's not there, just pick Nautilus or someone with the silence. Like like Garen. Garen's pretty huge. Uh, Blitzcrank's pretty huge. Nautilus is just huge because all the CC. But if you just want to deal with her, CC is the way to go. Uh, now, what do you think? Uh, what do you think is the high? Oh, I already answered that. All right. Uh, okay. What do you do when you have an AFK, uh, AFK on your team and the occasional troll? Is there any way that you can salvage the situation? Alright, when you have an AFK, sadly no. But when someone is trolling, the best solution is, is to just ignore everybody. Don't care what your teammates are saying, don't care what the enemy is saying. Mute, just do me a favor and just mute everyone. Like, you know, I'm just focus I'm just like doing your hand signals even though you can't see me. Uh, just mute everyone. And just ignore everyone. Uh, and just focus on yourself. Now, trust me, guys, this might sound crazy. Like, oh, what do you mean? I'm supposed to flame them and stuff. I'm supposed to say uh, blah, blah, blah. No, you're not supposed to flame. You're not supposed to care. Don't care at all. There's, I have, a, like, a solo queue video somewhere where it's how to win solo queue. And then that was, like, a giant tip uh, of there. Um, if someone is feeding, you don't care about it, okay? All you care about is getting better. Now, that's your only goal. In League of Legends, that is your only goal, getting better at the game. If you do this, I guarantee you will climb, and yeah, uh, I have a video on how to win solo queues somewhere uh, that just shows you tips and tricks on how to climb, that's, that's something. Uh, another question is, is Cassiopeia balanced? Um, her E spam is pretty broken, her ultimate's pretty broken, her Q poke, like her Q poke is dumb. But I would say yes, but you could easily counter her by just uh, letting, like don't let her farm, because if she gets farmed then she's a monster. But the best way is to just camp her and just poke her, poke the heck out of her, you know. And uh, that's about it. If you guys did enjoy this Q&A, let me know with the like button. Uh, the more likes, I think if we hit 10 likes, I'll do another one of these. Uh, that'd be great, guys. And I uh, hope you guys can send me more of your questions. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have an excellent day. It's Ghostline here, and I'm out. Peace.